I want this video to be so quick, so I'm not going to do a big intro like I normally do. I'm just going to say that if you have dried out looking hair or dry hair, then this video is going to be good for you to watch. It's going to give you a lot of great information and hopefully it can change the way you style your hair so that your hair looks healthier and more moisturized. Yeah. I'm going to talk about the obvious reasons of dryness first. So obvious reasons, and I'm sure you could have guessed these reasons, would be that your hair is damaged. So your hair is chemically damaged or heat damaged. You've been flat ironing it. You've been um, curling it with the curling iron using a high heat setting on your hair dryer and just basically frying your hair. Um, you've been using products that have a lot of drying alcohols in them. You've been using a lot of detergent to wash your hair. So shampoos that have sulfates and other harsh detergents. And basically you've been just working against your hair. None of that is what I'm going to talk about in today's video because all of those things have a very simple solution and it's the same solution. The solution is to stop doing those things. What I'm talking about today is, what if you already stopped doing all those things, your hair is now healthy, um, you've been following the curly girl method or like a similar gentle method and take really good care of your hair and it still looks really dry um, unless you've just styled it. And I know a lot of us feel this way. You just style your hair, it looks shiny, it looks healthy, it has some weight, and some balance to it, it looks moisturized, um, and then as the day goes on, it dries out. So I'm gonna talk about that, and why when you wake up in the morning, your hair looks dry, um, at the end of the day, why your hair looks dry. I'm gonna talk about all of those things. If you have naturally wavy or curly hair, your hair is more porous, which is good in a way, because it will accept you know, the ingredients from your products and accept water very easily. So the water doesn't bead on your hair, it actually gets soaked into your hair, and that is a good thing. Um, but how do we keep the moisture inside our hair without weighing our hair down? The answer to that is just to use the right types of products that have moisturizing agents in them, um, or humectants, some people will say, but I'm trying to keep this video as like simple as possible. But if you have a conditioner that you have right now that you really like, it's very likely that that conditioner is more than enough to do the trick. And my advice is if you don't want to use a hair cream, you don't want to purchase any additional products and you don't want to add steps to your routine, then when you rinse out your conditioner, rinse it out 90% of the way and leave a tiny bit in your hair. Um, and those ingredients are going to keep some of the moisture in your hair. I used to say rinse it out 70% of the way, but if you leave too much conditioner or too much cream in your hair, it weighs your hair down. And yes, you get the shine, but you also get that weighed down producty look and we don't want that either. So you can condition your hair um, and leave a little bit of conditioner in your hair or if you found a hair cream that you liked or you'd like to add a hair cream into your routine you can rinse the conditioner out all the way and then put some kind of a cream into your soaking wet hair. So really in theory that is all we should need. We should just wash our hair or co-wash our hair um, and use either leave the conditioner in or use some kind of a hair cream and if your hair is healthy that should be enough to pull the moisture into your hair uh, where the problem lies is that our hair is more porous and our cuticles don't lay as flat so as the day goes on the moisture easily escapes into the atmosphere and that's why you need to use something with an occlusive in it. A lot of YouTubers um, especially wavy and curly hair YouTubers, they'll use like a big lineup of products. So they'll sulfate free shampoo their ha hair, put the conditioner in their hair, rinse that out, use a hair cream, use a gel in the shower, and then after their hair is dry, use a mousse. I really don't think that all of that is necessary, um, but you definitely need to finish your style with some kind of a product that has an occlusive in it. My favorite occlusives are polyquats. So if you have, I can't even pronounce this guy, so don't, don't uh, make fun of me. Actually, you can if you want, just leave it in the comment section below. But it'll say like polyquaternum or something, six or polyquaternum, whatever. There's numbers after it. Um, a lot of you don't like to use those products because they coat the hair. But in my opinion, they're still water soluble uh, and they're going to coat the hair shaft and leave that moisture inside the hair which is gonna make your style last longer and 
it's also gonna stay on your hair until the following day so that if you get up to refresh your hair, maybe you only have to spritz a little bit of water in it, scrunch it, diffuse it, uh, and you're good to go. Um, your hair won't completely dry out as you sleep. So that's what I'm recommending. I'm recommending moisturizing your hair with either a conditioner and a cream or just a conditioner, and then using some kind of a product like a gel or a mousse that has some kind of occlusive in it that's gonna coat some of your hair, uh, keep that moisture in. Now, if you watch my old videos, I used to just wash my hair with conditioner and use that BioTerra gel because my conditioner and my gel had moisturizing agents in them and then the gel provided the occlusive and that would coat my hair um, and I found that worked really well. And I still find that works really well, um, but in the winter, it's really, really dry here where I live and I find I still need a little something something on the top of my hair after my hair fully dries. So lately, I've been either co-washing my hair with conditioner, leaving a tiny bit of the conditioner in, putting gel into my soaking wet hair or gel and cream into my soaking wet hair. And then once my hair is like almost fully dry, then I will use a mousse. And the mousse that I've been using is that Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse um, because it's alcohol free and it doesn't have silicone in it. The problem is, is that I live in a small town and I think everybody with wavy and curly hair that lives in my town watches my channel uh, because I can't buy it anywhere. It's not in any of the stores. I made the mistake of buying um, a, another mousse by Herbal Essences that looked almost the same. It had alcohol in it, but I was like, oh, I don't use it that often and my hair is healthy now. You know, is it gonna hurt for me to use the mousse with the alcohol in it? And the answer to that question is yes. So I don't think I did any long-term damage to my hair, but over the few weeks that I was using that mousse because I didn't have anything else, my hair definitely looked dried out, especially if I slept on my hair uh, and then woke up the next morning, my hair looked super duper dry. The last thing I wanna talk about in this video is if you're already doing a hair routine where you're making sure you moisturize your hair um, and then you're using an occlusive, your hair looks really good most of the time and then all of a sudden for whatever reason your hair looks really dry or like your roots look really dry and the ends of your hair look like weighed down and producty could you hear my dog sigh he's like having the best sleep ever what a good boy um anyway sometimes that'll happen to me and like when that first started happening, I was like, oh God, like my hair just needs more moisture. So I went out and I got like a deep conditioner. I stopped using sulfate free shampoo. I was just co-washing my hair, putting a deep conditioner on my hair. Then I'd use a hair cream. Then I was using my gel. I was just trying to do whatever I could um, to moisturize my hair. But the problem was everything was just sitting on top of my hair. So my hair looked dry and greasy at the same time and I just couldn't fix it. And I think the problem was that my hair was not able to absorb the water um, as well as it did before I had any type of like a film or a buildup on my hair. And I think that was the problem. I think I had like a buildup. And so if this happens to you, my advice is actually to wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo or a shampoo that has sulfate in it. Do you wanna do this all the time? No, but I consider this like a reset and it will really help to get that moisture back into your hair. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have any specific products that have been working really well for you to keep your hair moisturized, please leave them in the description box below. I like to talk about these things without naming certain products, just because I don't want you to always feel like you need to go out and buy something new. Maybe you could just tweak your hair routine a little bit and that's gonna keep your hair looking more moisturized. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a big old thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. And I have one more thing to talk about before I say goodbye. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, the very end, you're probably somebody who watches my channel and supports my channel on a regular basis. And so I just have one thing that I wanna do a little plug for, and that is the comedy mini series that I showed, shot can't talk, that I shot in the summer for SwearNet. Um, so some of you know I did some videos with this comedy duo from Cape Breton, which was like one of the most fun, most amazing things I've ever had the opportunity to do. My parents are comedians 
And so it was like really just a great thing for me to be involved with um, and just help me feel like connected with them and all of that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, we shot a six episode mini series for SwearNet, which is the Trailer Park Boys network. Um, and three of the episodes have been released already. They drop a new episode every Tuesday and I'm in the first episode. It's called Tracy and Martina Dirty Deeds and the episode is called Anne Gets Scammed. And you can watch it by going to www.swearnet.com. I think it's $1.99 or something like that uh, to watch it or for the month uh, to get SwearNet for the month. But um, if you don't like swear words, <laughs> if you don't like comedy and swear words uh, and men in drag, then just don't don't watch it. Um, it's definitely really, really funny, uh, but it's an uncensored network, so there's a lot of cussing. I'm just going to say that. Um, but if you're interested, please check it out and let me know if you liked it in the comment section below. Anyway, that's it, and I'm going to see you very soon in my next video. Bye.